speak your language. What is barbaric about the act that has kept peace and order, progress and unity in the human kingdom? Or have you ever had the two buried the innocent person? We only bury the bad eggs amongst us. Only after the gods have found him guilty by swearing with the star of justice. Yes. You will. I shall take my leave. But one thing is certain. I will definitely come back. Because I cannot stop until I have seen the rule of law take full course in this community. Until I have seen law offenders be taken to the court of law for trial and conviction. I cannot stop until I see that people are punished according to the law after a judge has pronounced judgment on them. Not burying innocent people unnecessarily. I cannot stop until all these things are put a stop in this community where I shall live. No I'll need to come back. back. No need to come back. Because, because there will never be a time like that till the end of humanity and the history of human kingdom. Go and never come back. Change is one thing constant in God. Live, my friend, live. Live. Change is the inevitable when it's time to evolve. The fast will be unstoppable when it's time to evolve. Now please, please, can you spend me a little bit of time, my friend? I don't have that time right now. I'm in, I'm in a hurry, yeah? I'm running late. But my friend, please, in that case, I'll have to come back because. It's a very, very important time I will see you, my friends. No problem, we'll see you. I'm going to go for our community. Huh? Right. Let's go, let's go, no time. into this matter. We should look diligently into it. Because a lawyer once told me that any family 
whose own was condemned and buried alive and decides to seek redress in the court of law? We all, the keepers of the kingdom, pay dearly for it, but we also... Hold it there, Ichin. And the whole of this country, everybody, even the government already knows that it is our heritage. Anyone who commits any abominable act is executed according to the directives of our forefathers. They all already know this. And why would any family sue us to court when everybody knows that this has been what is obtainable in this kingdom from time immemorial? Civilization. Civilization, my food, Ichien. I say civilization, my food. What are you trying to say? We are proud of our heritage. We are not murderers. We only hurt evil and abominable acts. So stop this. My prince. Greetings, father. Greetings. Greetings. Who are these? Who are these? Prince of Malaysia. Father. On my way to Omofara community, I saw these two young people struggling on the road. And so I stopped and inquired the reason for the scuffle. And the young girl said, this man raped her. What? You said raped? I am innocent. I didn't do it. Igwe is not true. He raped me. God. God! Yes, Take them to the garden. I will see them shortly. Now I have a meeting with my elders. at Ipa farmland. When I noticed someone at my back and I thought he was the one. He started touching me all over my body. He touched me and touched everything. He told me he has always wanted me. I'm not interested but he refused. What he did was he overpowered me, your highness. And the next thing of my face, he makes me. He don't do it. Hey. Only let me your hey. highness. Your highness, this girl is lying against me. I have never thought of a thing like that all my life. Why would I rape her? Why? So what happened? Your highness, I was going to check my trap in the bush this morning. And she ran after me and told me to help her lift a bundle of firewood. Me? How can you me? I didn't... Will you shut up and let him talk? I'm sorry, Your Highness. Yes, go on. Thank you, Your Highness. I went into the bush to help her lift the bundle of firewood. 
It will all of a sudden she tore her pants. I was surprised. And the next thing she did was to hold on to me and started shouting and screaming that I raped her. I was still shocked by the whole drama she was putting up before the prince drove by. Igwe, I can, I can tell you that she is lying. You are the one that is lying. You raped me, Obina. You tore my back. This is how because you raped me. I believe that none of you is a stranger in this kingdom. Young lady, yes. I hope you know the gravity of what you are accusing this young man of and the punishment that awaits him if truly he's found to have done what you are saying. Yes, Your Highness. You also know the punishment that awaits you if at the end of the day it was discovered that you are lying against him. Yes, Your Highness. Are you ready to swear? with our staff of justice that he raped you. I am ready, Your Highness. When I raped me, he told me about to hide me. Oh, me. Pardon me. Young man, are you ready to swear with our staff of justice that you are innocent before she's accusing you? Yes, you will. I am ready to swear. I am innocent of all this accusation. So, let the girl go, but let the young man remain here. Tomorrow, the chief priest will take them through the swearing exercises before many witnesses. You, you are free now. Thank you. Go home, but don't fail to come back here tomorrow. Yes, your highness, thank you. Ijoma, there's trouble. Trouble? Yes. I don't understand. What, what kind of trouble? Hey, um, Ijoma, see, the prince caught Obina red handed, raping an innocent girl. And, and now they have taken him to the king. So, why are you telling me? Who is Obina? What's my business with it? Ose, who is Obina? No, Obina, now. Ose, who is Obina? <laughs> what kind of joke is this? Which Obina? My own Obina did what? I'm not joking, no. It is not a, it's not a joke. I'm very serious. Obina was caught red-handed. No, no. You are joking. No. Because I don't believe anything you said. So just say something else. Let me say it. Ijoma, please. Just follow me now. Let's go and see for ourselves. Let's go. Stop doubting me. I'm very serious. I am doubting you. I'm not going anywhere with you because I don't believe anything you just said. Ijoma, go. I'm serious now. Stop this or doubting Thomas and follow me. I'm not joking, no. Let's go because I'm playing. Ijoma, sincerely. I am not joking. It's painful, but I'm serious. Very serious. You're joking. Mm -hmm. Now who? Now who? Huh? Hey, calm down. Calm down. What? Sorry. Uh, who are you and who they find? Good, good afternoon, brother. Uh -huh. Good afternoon. Um, uh, uh, she, 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 she bro, said... Bro, bro, uh, uh, that boy that was caught by the prince, uh, that they said he, he raped the girl. Okay. He's a fiance. Now I remember you. Maybe you and this boy follow come here some time ago. Uh, yes, brother. It's me. Okay. It's me. Thank you. Uh -huh. Please. Um, I, I, I just want to see him. I, I just want to be sure. Now, make I tell you. The boy, what is he talk about now? He is now a prisoner inside his palace. You don't hear me? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. This is not happening. Um, please, I'm sorry. Please, just help me. 
can I can I just see him? I just want to see him. Me, where be the chief security officer for this palace? I don't even get access to that prison. Talk of you. Okay? Come on, bro, 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 wait. Hey, brother, I beg, I beg. Just uh, come to just help her. Let us sing for ten minutes. 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 This girl is strong. Please. Please. Don't mind. Don't mind. Don't mind. Don't cry, please. Don't cry now. What are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? Hey! Please, just let me see him. Please, yeah, please, please. 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 Please, Rape in this kingdom, how possible is it each year? My dear, I'm still thinking of I'm confused. I don't really understand it. Wait, why would such a young man want to sacrifice his life at the altar of pleasure? How can? How are you sure the young girl was not accusing him falsely? Uh, well, that's another angle to it. But uh, then, how could she want to risk her life too, knowing fully well what is at stake? Well, it's a terrible situation, but one thing is for sure. Tomorrow, somebody must be buried alive. It's either the girl or the boy. Boy, Che, I'm still thinking what will make that young man eh, to risk his life, knowing fully well the judgment that awaits him. Likewise, the girl. Why will she accuse somebody falsely, knowing that the only judgment that awaits her is being buried alive in this community? Che, let's wait for the gods. The truth will come to light by tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is here already. Now, we know who they are. But you be human. But you be human. And we don't have to be normal. We can think. We can reason. Because time and time and the same. We cannot judge. We can move. We can turn around. From time to time. We can make. Greetings, my prince. Oh, greetings. Why are you crying? Why are you there very much? They wouldn't let me in. Why? I... I came to see him. Him? Yes. Obina. My... Oh, 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 oh. The prisoner. The guy... Yes, my prince. Why would he do such a thing? Rape. He, he, he didn't do it. He didn't do it. I swear he didn't do it. He's not that kind of person. He didn't do it. I see. My prince, I know him. I know him too well. He's not that kind of man. He wouldn't even think of doing such a thing. Well, let's leave that for the gods to decide tomorrow. Um, okay, okay. Can, can, I, can I at least see him? You cannot see him. And it's not my fault, it's, it's tradition, you know, it's a custom of the land. My hands are tied, okay? Listen, listen, tomorrow, uh, the gods will judge his case tomorrow. If he's innocent, you'll have him. My prince, I beg you, I just, I just... I I'm sorry. Let 
Just one. Trying times. Will you wait for me? There's a love that's meant to endure. What did you say? Same thing. I can't see you. <laughs> to do now. <laughs> eh? One thing is for sure, I can't, I can't leave this place without seeing Obinda. He didn't do it. He I did know. not. <laughs> I, I don't know what went wrong. Obinda couldn't have done such a thing. He wouldn't involve himself in such abominable acts even without the death penalty that awaits anyone who does that. He wouldn't even think of that. He hasn't he hasn't done it before, he didn't do it, he didn't do it. This whole thing is just getting worse. <laughs> uh, if they've allowed you to go and see him inside there, and then he'll tell his own side of the story. I don't know what to do. Right now, I'm just confused. I just, I just want to see him. Just help me beg them from when he can't. Let me see him, please. Please, please. 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 <laughs> Quality man! Yes. Yes, please. Greetings, Father. Greetings. You sent for me? Yes, my son. Uh, uh, please sit. <coughs> okay, Father. I hope there's no problem. Uh, no, no, no. Just that. My friend Ichendo and I have been reasoning together concerning the prisoner. And what about him? As it stands now, the whole kingdom is in pandemonium. Somebody is going to be buried alive tomorrow. This is not a joke. It's a very serious issue, my son. Of course. What does it have to do with me? You were the one that caught them. You brought them to this place. We want to know exactly how it happened. Yes, my prince. That young man in question is not a stranger in this kingdom. He knows purely well the consequences of his action being the only son of his late parents. Likewise, the girl who knows the detriment of false accusation against the boy. But the question now lies who among the two of them is telling lies? My prince, please tell us exactly what you saw. I've already narrated what I saw. I'm not about to repeat myself. No. Let the gods decide their fate. Oh, Father, please. I mean, to take my My prince. Mr. Johnson is waiting for you at the Alpha Court. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Yeah. Tell him I'll come. OK, 
Okay, my prince. very much for giving me audience, my prince. Good. My prince, you are a graduate of medicine even though you chose not to practice. Good. My prince, of what use is education when it cannot bring enlightenment to the people? That is the essence of the difference between the educated and the non-educated. The elite and the commoner. My prince, we cannot be diseducated and yet backward, my prince. Mr. Johnson, go straight to the point. He's out of our time. The point I'm trying to make, my prince, is that we are the only community that still practices a cake and outdated ordinances. Yes, ordinances like burying someone alive when the oracle declares him guilty of a crime without allowing the law court to take due process. My prince, such ordinances are barbaric and archaic. We have to put a stop to it. It takes people like you and I to raise our voices against this ill and put a stop to it, my I prince. I think you have made your point, Mr. Johnson. Yes. You have nothing more to say. We are talking about a legacy that was handed over to us by our forefathers. A legacy that has gained us reputation in Africa and beyond. A legacy, a way of life that is good for our people. Good for Shut up. I will not sit here and watch you call it a cake and a barrack. Enough! Okay, what is it? Why are you shouting my name like that? Hey! What happened? Have you not heard what I'm hearing? In no big. No, I have not heard, it, heard anything. Hey! What is it? Talk to me. You now. say you've not heard. I have not heard. Where is it, Jama, your daughter? I don't know where she went to. I came back and met her absent. Any problem? Yeah. You came back and you met her absent? Yes. Hey. That's her boyfriend, Obin. What happened to Obina? The priest called the boy. A young girl accused him of rape. Rape? Really? Yes. Chero, wait. You mean Obina was caught raping a girl? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Hmm. The whole village is on fire. Why am I now going? Every. In fact, I don't understand. I said the prince caught the girl crying after the incident. Ah, can you hear no there that you don't understand? Ole ho. Chimo. Ole The girl's pant was torn. What? The girl was crying. I was explaining everything to the prince. Hmm. What? I really, really want to understand something here. I, why would the girl follow him to the place he's checking his traps? Why? No, no, no. 
the girl went to the mother's farmland to harvest cassava at Iba land. And Obina went after her? So Is that I... what you're trying to tell me? So I heard. Mba, no, no. Mba, no, no, no. Because I don't see Obina as someone who can hurt a fly. Yes. Mm -hmm. The point here is that, why would this girl be crying and accusing this boy of this atrocity? Knowing that an oath to be given to her to verify her claims. That if she's found guilty, the penalty is death. She'll be buried alive. Eh? Why would she risk her life to that extent? Eh? Why will Obina decide to offer his life? On the altar of pleasure. Why? Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. Are you trying to say that he didn't do it? Huh? My sister, I am finding it hard to believe it. Yes. Huh. It's so good, Deba. It's good thing so good. Before Uncle. Abina. Rip? Hey, rip him. No. There's a love is meant to endure Through the trying times Will you wait for me? Cause I know I am yours to enjoy Eternity, I will wait for you. My young man, is it true? Did you tell him we see him, Mama? I tried all I could, but I know he didn't do it. You know, he didn't do it. He did not do it, Mama. I just I just needed to look into his eyes and ask him. He didn't do it. My daughter, don't conclude yet. Because all the evidence are pointing at him already. Yes. What are you doing, Mama? Are you insinuating that Obina would rape a girl? Now tell me. Is Obina not a man? Eh? Oh no, he never where I am. Eh? Now tell me. The one that both of you have been doing all this while, is it different from this one? Tell me! <gasps> Mama, he didn't do it. I know Obina would never do such a thing. He did not do it. Continue deceiving yourself. Continue deceiving yourself. Mama, please. Mama, please, not now. She does not need this right now, please. We are not even sure if he did it or not. We are not sure. Yes, I know. Mama, you must not create an enmity over something we are not sure of. Nico, tomorrow we will know. The chief priest will make it known to us. Please. You know. Yes, yes, I, I know. Obina cannot even hurt a fly, brother. He didn't do it. He didn't do it. He didn't do it. It shall not be well with that boy. Thank God he was caught. He must pay for this. He wants to defend my late brother's wife. So after growing up in this village, Knowing whether that whoever that commits such thing will be buried alive. A boy or a, or a man can't control his selfish desire for you. And say, I did not do anything. I did not. And is it by force? Tell me, is it by force? I said, I did what he was. I did not do anything. No. Hey. But you see what I was telling you when you returned home about your way of dressing. You are not the only woman that boy has seen in this village. And this is the first time we are hearing about such case. 
after so many years. Your exposed body caused this. What do you mean? What I mean is, you shall dress properly like a wet ringer from your home. I don't I believe this won't have happened. Forget that thing. Any man who is a dog will always be a dog. If you like, cover yourself from head to toe. Once he sees her in that lonely farmland, he will still do the same thing. Keep encouraging her. Hmm? Continue. Don't stop her from going around naked or in the name of fashion. <laughs> They will know. Um, Greetings. No. I see. No. no. Um, please. You are looking for one Ugochi. Ugochi. Mm -hmm. Anything. Um, sorry, we want to have a few minutes with you just to ask you something. We won't waste your time. At all. Please. please. Go with them. Go and answer them. They don't look like troublemakers. Mm -hmm. Just go. Huh? Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Go. Go. I'm coming. Go. I'm coming. Do you want to carry me? Please don't be offended. My name is Ijoma. Obina's fiance, the one he wants to get married to. I just want to know exactly what happened. My mind hasn't been at rest since I heard the news. Please, just what happened? Please. Your boyfriend is a dog. And a shameless he goat. You would speak about him like that. He is not a dog, neither is he a goat. Okay, I'm lying now. I'm lying. You came to my house to support your boyfriend over what he did. Really? I just asked you a simple question and you started calling him names. And I can call your boyfriend or your fiancé any name. Any time, any day, any year, any minute. He's a beast. And yes, he is a he-goat. How am I not sure you are even the one lying? Okay, I'm lying. Hi! Ah, for yourself. No, 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 please. Sorry, bro. Just calm down. You will get that joke. Cool down, please. Try and understand with us, oh? Please. No, 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 no. She left her house and came to my house to tell me that I'm lying and accusing her boyfriend over what he did. No, go and tell the God same thing you just said to me and see if by this time tomorrow the truth will not be revealed. Useless thing. The judgment will pass Will you wait for me? Will you stand for me? When you're mine You got my me To be frank with you, I'm good for that girl. Omu <laughs> Karayaka. She doesn't look like someone that is say something she doesn't show off. She sounds so convincing. So, so he he did it. Mm -mm. No, we are not sure. 
He did not do it. Let's not conclude yet. Let's be hopeful. Yeah? Don't do it. I just don't know what to believe. I'm so, I'm so confused. IJ, please. Don't be confused. Take this thing easy on yourself. Because you know, tomorrow is just by the corner. No. Tomorrow is like 10,000 years away. Hi. I don't even know if I can sleep tonight. Don't say that. My heart is broken. Shoma, please. I am begging you. Take this thing easy on yourself. Be calm now because you know. I know for sure. I know that he'll be vindicated. I am certain. Do you understand? Stop these tears, I beg you. Please. It's okay. Just nice. <laughs> Sleep will come to your eyes. Hmm? I'm coming. Are you sure you're coming? It's okay. I will be waiting for you, sir. I sleep, I'm coming. Please don't keep me with you. I will come. The judgment will pass. Will you wait for me? Will you stand for me? Why your man? Who got my man? You people will not rest. Huh? How can you be disturbing someone from morning to night? Huh? You again? Brother. Brother, please. Please. I beg you in the name of God. Let, let me just see the prisoner, please. I, ju I just need to talk to him. Please, I have told you, I don't even have access to that place. I, I can't go there. I can't you just understand. I, I, I know. I know you told me before, but, but please, I'm begging you. You see, if it is very, very possible for me to help you, I will help you. But the fact is that I can't go there. I can't take you there. It's yellow for them. But I'm, I'm still begging. Can't you understand? Any and Can't you just understand simple English? I don't have access to where he is. Please, I want to take your time. Money when you're dead. Money when you're dead. I've only ever made your own. Don't waste my time, bro. Ah. <sighs> 
so happy to see you. How are you? I'm fine. My love, did you do it? Even you, Ijeng. Don't you know what I'm capable of doing? I'm sorry. I know you didn't do it. I just wanted to see you. I wanted to make sure you were fine. My love, I am fine. I am safe. Nothing will happen to me. The gods will vindicate me by the breaking of a new day. Have they given you anything to eat? Have you had something to eat? The palace servants brought me food, but I lost my appetite. It's just the thought of you that has kept me strong all this while. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. My love, you have to go now in order not to put the people into trouble. No, I, please, I want to stay with you. I, I can't go back home without you. You should do that. You can't stay. You can't stay. Yeah, oh yeah, leave now, leave now. Leave now, stop. Sorry, Mama. <laughs> Ijama, you see this, your stupid love? Eh? It will kill you one day. It will kill you. Look at the time. Imagine you, Ijama. Only you walking on those lonely paths just because of that stupid boy. Eh, Ijama? What if something evil happened to you on that, those, 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 those lonely paths? What will you tell your teacher, Mama? Tell me! Mama, calm down. I'm I back home. Nothing happened to me. I'm, I'm back home. I should come down, eh? So, what is There is no problem. Do you see, nigga? Do you see, There's a love is meant to endure through the trying time. Will you stand for me? I will wait for you. Since you brought that young man here, I don't know why. Hmm. Father, the young man was accused of rape, an abominable act which 
is highly prohibited in our kingdom. An act which, if left unpunished, could bring curses upon us. I know. So, why then are you restless? They thought that that young man would be killed if found guilty. It's given me sleepless nights. I don't know him before, but I don't just want him to die. Uh, maybe it's because of the stories I heard about his poor family background. Father, you are the king. You know that being poor does not give anyone the right to commit crime. I know that. Then, Father, be the king that you are. Kill every sentiment you have in you. Let justice prevail, so you do not incur the wrath of the gods. What if that girl is lying against him? Well, uh, the chief priest, the staff of power and justice will come to play. But the young man is innocent. Trust me, the girl will suffer for it. Well, let's hope so. Indeed, let's hope so. I understand that you are an orphan. The only son of your late parents. Yes, my lord. And you are a poor hunter. Yes, my king. I feel pity for you. I don't want you to die. But then, the gods are no respecter of persons. Whether often or not, what they do to A, they do to B. But I have a plan. Own up to the crime. Confess to your crime. And I will take you to the chief priest to plead with the gods to forgive you that you acted in hell. Maybe your madness arose. And there was no maiden to play with. Or the openness of the dress the lady wore made you to act the way you did. Are you ready to confess to your crime? My king, how can I confess to a crime I did not commit? For the last time, are you ready to swear with the staff of justice? I am ready. Even if someone took my body and committed the crime in my absence, the ghost would spare me. But I am sure such a thing never happened. I was only going to inspect my traps when she accosted me, begged me to help her. And then when I got there, she started acting strange. I never committed this. Ouch. It's alright. Pretend 
tell him to be a good boy? Eh? Who would believe that Obina could hurt a fly? Mama, Mama, please. Please, I am begging you. Don't do this. Stop laying allegations on this boy. I told you it is false. He didn't do it. And how do you know that is false? I would stake my life for him. Hmm? I would bet my life on it. He did not do it. <sighs> Please, keep your life to yourself. Don't stake your life yet. Eh? Village Square, where never. Let's go. We will see everything today. Hey, hey Mama. Mama, beautiful. This is your talk now. Oh, Maka. Okay. Uh, we are going there. Let's not quarrel over this issue. Ma. We are going to know the truth. <laughs> eh, Omaka like this. Eh, ne. Omaka, don't talk about this again. I beg you. I, so I will okay. not say about it. Papa, let's go. Mama, I said it's okay. It's okay. Please. I'm going to put you on. Hey, Naga. I'm going to talk about it. Mama, do you want to beat me? You can't beat me because I'm your mother. When two people are vehemently claiming to be truthful over a matter one is lying about. Issue the land forbids. An issue that is capable of bringing death plague to the entire kingdom. The gods already made provision of a way to find out the truth. The staff of justice and peace. Young lady, are you ready to swear with the staff of justice and peace handed over to us by our forefathers, which has always been a symbol of peace and justice that this young man kneeling beside you forcefully had carnal knowledge of you are you ready yes i'm ready young lady <coughs> Stand up. Let the earth upon which you stand bear you witness that what you have just said is the truth. Pull out the staff of peace and justice from the ground. He raped me. He raped me. Oh, he raped me. Pull the staff of peace and justice from the ground. <laughs> Young man, are you ready to confess your crime? No! Never! I didn't do it. <laughs> I'm innocent, I did not do it. Young man, let the earth which you stand upon bear you witness that what you are saying is the truth. Pull the staff of peace and justice. Pull it out from the ground. Oh, my God. 
Thinking about you. Oh. So tell me, what exactly were you thinking about me? Oh. When will I finally make up enough money to pay your bride price and make you officially mine? <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> you know what? Just keep saving. And soon you'll complete the money for my bride price. Oh. I believe you. <laughs> you 
it's okay. It's okay. Um, let me go and check my traps as well as hunt for new catches. And as usual, you would have a great catch. You see, that's why I always come to see you first thing in the morning before checking my traps. <laughs> because you always give me good luck. I know. <laughs> I will see you later in the day. Okay. Oh, have a great day. Mm. Be a good girl. I will. <laughs> I want you to hug me again. Uh, I can't get enough. <laughs> I love you so much. And I love you too. <laughs> How to go now? Okay. Okay. And I wait for, for you. Eternity, I wait for you. My So I decided to bring it to you first before you close the other one. Bring it to you. I don't understand. Flower consumption. Oh, you brought a baby and Teddy B yesterday. We still have enough bushings in this house. Thank you very much. But I need you to go and sell this. Add it to your sins. Oh, easy boom. <laughs> My woman of virtue. <laughs> but you forget so fast. Forget what? Today marks it exactly one year this journey of mine. No way! No, 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 no. How could I forget? That is true. Oh! I'm, I'm so sorry. That's true. I just forgot. So you see? I brought this so we can mark our anniversary celebration. <laughs> I want you to take this to prepare your delicious paper soup with it. I'll buy a gallon of power when coming back. I want us to just sit, merry, and enjoy ourselves together. Uh, the baby I tell you I brought was just for you and your mother. But this, this is for us. Come on. What do I say to you? Thank you very much. You've made me the most happiest woman in the world. You're the most wonderful creature I've met. Thank you. I have been blessed by you. I love you very much. <laughs> okay. Let me run along and ask you Okay? I'll see you later. Do you want to pepper your salt? You know how I like it. The big thing is that sweet, just like you. <laughs> See you later. Thank you. I made it peppery. I love the amount. Yeah. Just the way I like it. Hot dog. That's sweet. That's sweet. I think you should step it down the bit. Are you sure it won't get to you later? I am here for you. What are you telling me? Hey. Oh, Baba. <sighs> you know, I got this specially from that man that taps fresh pan one. Are you serious? Yes, no. Mazio Bunu. I know one that is very fresh. No, I got it. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> One year of fulfillment. One year of joy without boundaries. One year of happiness without 
This one year of knowing you has been the best year of my life. You're making me shine. You don't have to. You see, since the death of my mother, having lost my father as a little I never knew I was going to survive of this event. I mean, how could I ever live alone on this planet? No father, no mother, no brother, no sister, no uncle that cares. I thought I was just going to die soon. But then you showed up. You gave me reasons to live again. You became both father, mother, brother. You have everything a man will ever require. You became You're my soulmate. I will never forget to do it. My love. I never believed in predestination until I met you. Everything about me wants to be with you. Deep down in my heart, I know we are meant to be together. We are destined to be together. I can't survive the day this world without you. You're my world. I can never live without you. And I don't want to. <laughs> no, I don't want to give her. I will kill another grasshopper for you. I am not every day of my life. <laughs> We said we were going to see later that evening. You didn't tell me it was the last time I was going to see you. Why did you do it, my love? Why? What force made you do that? Didn't that force tell you that you had someone waiting for you? I was waiting for you to return. My love, why did you do this? My love, you would have resisted the temptation. You would have said no. My heart is broken. <laughs> Joma, please. <laughs> stop crying, please. Watch yourself. Please, stop crying. Oh. It's okay. Why are you crying? I thought you said Obina, you know, cannot do such a thing. Mama, he was manipulated. The Obina I know could not have done that with his eyes wide open. Hmm. He was charmed. Fine. <laughs> IG, fine. I understand everything. It's okay. It's not okay. Mara, I cannot live without him. I won't survive. The chair gone over. In a Eh? <laughs> Is Obina your god? Obina will chigi. Guess I tell you, you can't live without Obina. Let me not hear that nonsense from me again. And I'm poor. Put the head in here. Open it in. Eh? Yeah. Where am I? It's bleeding. Okay, stop it. Open. 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 I was calling you, but you turned your back on me. Why? When? When did you call me? 
Jay, I didn't hear you. I was calling you to tell you that I'm innocent. But you turned your back on me. You believed them. Even you, Ejim. So you believed them. My love. I'm sorry. I didn't... I didn't know what to believe. But, but I believe you now. I, I know you didn't do it. I, I believe you. I'm sorry. I didn't do it. I'm innocent. No. I'm innocent. I know. I know you're innocent. I'm innocent. I know. I'm innocent. I I'm innocent. I know you're innocent. Obim. 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 Obim, where are you? Obim. 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 What is it? He didn't do it. You have to believe me, he didn't do it. It's okay. I have heard you. Hmm? Go back to sleep. They killed an innocent man. He didn't do it. Mama, he did not. I said I have heard you. Go back to sleep. It was the gods that convicted him. Since he is with the gods, let him lay his complaint to them. I believe they will also explain why they did this to me over there. You know, go. Also, go back to sleep. To the man of my life, Papa. They took the only man that meant the whole world to me. It took my source of joy. They killed him and he did not do it. He didn't do it. He didn't do it. Nembwando, what's going on? Wipe your tears. Do you hear me? The deed has already been done. And there is nothing your tears can do about it. <laughs> So, you have to go back to sleep. Eh? <laughs> Is she missing? Did you see her? No, I didn't see her. I woke up this morning 
I didn't see her. Okay. I don't know where she went to. Eh? What kind of, what kind of, what kind of story is this now? Eh? But, have you gone to check her in her friend's place, Amara? Oh, you're right. Let me go there now. You got you, you got to ask Amara her friend and know if she, she knows her whereabouts. She should not ask Amara. Is she asking me? Am I uh, my daughter's sister? Mama, I did not see her. I've not seen her. Hey. And she did not say anything about where she would be going to. Mba, no, she did not. Hey! Hey, Hey! 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 I, I know you can't see me. I, I know you can't hear me. I, I'm here. I, I'm here at, at our usual spot where, where we used to sit and talk. Please just, just, just come, come back. Just show me yourself, even if it's the last time I see you. Please, I, I beg you, just, just show yourself, please. I don't want to sit here and, and talk and, and laugh. You tell me stories. You, you, you pour out your emotions to me right, right here. We sit here. You tell me. to me the dead don't talk only the living does eh? my daughter it's okay please wipe your tears let's go home it's okay mama mama please as it stands now because you have to keep your eye on her very important she will never ever leave my sight again. I promise. No, because you don't know. Just see me begging to go back. Even if it's just the last time, I just want to see him. Please. Please. No, sir. Please. 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 Mama, Mama, I just want to see him. I just want him to come to me, even if he's was. He used to sit here. I know, I know. He sits here, and he tells me how much he loves me. Come on, to yourself, stop. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come Will you wait for me? Cause I know I am yours to enjoy For eternity I have waited for you to summon this meeting But 
As it stood, I may have to wait for eternity. So I decided to summon the meeting myself. I am sure you already know what I have to say. Oh, that's it. My wife, your mother is late. You know she had only you. And I have no intention of taking another wife. At my age, I should be seen playing around with my grandchildren. Why are you denying this pleasure of father? Why are you denying me? When will you show me your bride to be? <coughs> uh, father, uh, I know that time waits for no man. I've always known that. And it has been in my heart to present to you the woman I want to marry. Surprise you with that. So what's stopping the surprise package? I've not seen a woman I want to marry, believe me. I mean, there are women everywhere, everywhere, but I've not seen the one that, you know, that will suit me. Of course, the woman I'm going to marry will be the most beautiful maiden in this land. Yes, a woman who's going to be the mother of my kids. She has to stand out. She will be classy and a woman that the mere sight of her will depict royalty. <laughs> Not seen her yet. Mm. Son, love doesn't happen like that. Love is like a seed. When you plant it, you water it, you care for it, and let it grow. Then after a while, you may start eating from its food. I want you to find a beautiful maiden of Umwago Kingdom, our kingdom. Build with her the kind of love you wish to have. All right, Father, I've heard you. I promise you soon I will present a wife to you. That will be the happiest day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you, Heather. Myself, that I am taking up the case. You boys be idiot. We don't know. You boys be idiot. Are you the one who raped the girl? How do you know he's innocent? The boy was not convicted guilty at the law court. They just murdered the boy unjustly. My prince, I am involved in amnesty international in this case because I will sit to the end of it. 
I will see to the end of this, this case. Get out. Huh? Get out of this palace now. Now, Prince, I will go. But mind you, I will see come back. Get out. I will see come back. Get out. Get out. Now you have not eaten anything. Huh? Why are you doing this to me? Joma, why are you doing this to me? Why are you breaking your mother's heart? Why are you breaking my heart? Huh? I'm not breaking your heart, mother. I'm not hungry. How can you not be hungry? Wait for three good days now. Three good days. You have not eaten anything. And you are you telling me that you are not hungry, Joma? What is it, Joma? Eh? You want to kill me? <laughs> Let me help you. You, you, you. you need to eat something. For three good days now. <laughs> Joma. Joma, you will kill me. Oh. I will die for you. Oh. Joma, please. Oh, Hama, you here. Thank you. Please help me and talk to your friend. Oh. Let me talk to her. Hey. Uh, Mama, has she taken any malaria drug? How can she take drugs? Wait for three good days now. Three good days, oh. She has not taken anything. Eh? Please, you go. Eh? Please, you go. Thank you. Thank you. Because just eat small. You see, your body needs food to function normal. Yes. Eh? Please. Uh. I'm not hungry. Hey, hey, I talk no more. Yeah, it will okay, fine. Even if you're not hungry, just eat small, small bello. Eat small, so, so, so that the drugs can work. Pico, Pico. Oh? I'm not, I'm not hungry. Hey! I talk no more. Amara. Mama, please. Mm -hmm. I just want to ask you one question. I need. I just want the truth. Please. Now tell me. Did she take any blood oath with that young man? Eh? Mama? Oath? No, 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 Mama. I'm very sure. Nothing like that. It didn't happen. I'm very sure. Blood oath. This strange sickness is getting out of hand. Since that young man died, she has been like this all through. Yes, I believe there must be a spiritual connection between two of them that need to be destroyed. Ah, Mama, you be a what? Spiritual connection, what? Yes. Mama, no, 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 no. Nothing like that. Yeah. No, 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 sincerely, nothing like that, please. I didn't. I didn't take any blood oats with him. No. Yeah. Yeah. Mommy, why are you Because I'm. Yeah, no, no, no. Hey, IJ. IJ. My friend. Yeah. One man, but just this small one. Ijoma, I will kill myself for you. I will kill myself for you. Ijoma, try and eat something now, eh? What is all this? She has been like this for three good days now. What is all this? Eh? Look, 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 look! I'm not going to say they are real. Ah, I can only see them. They are just going to come and go again. Woman, there might be truth in what you are saying. But I need to look into her eyes. That's the only way I can tell if she had any spiritual connection with the dead man and would break 
the connection immediately if she has. You have to help me, my swan. Her condition is very bad. That there is no way I could have brought her to this place. Even if I have a car, there is no way I could have taken her into the car. My swan, please. I want you to have my daughter. You want me to follow you to go and see her? Yes, wise one. Please, I am picking you. Save my daughter's life, please. If that is what you want, you have to get a Tyson that will take me to your house and bring me back. I don't like public transport. No, that won't be a problem. Eh? That won't be a problem. Eh? Let me go and get the taxi. Huh? <coughs> Let me go and get the taxi. 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 Let me go and get the taxi.
prepared that you have to do something now. Someone has to stand up for something that is right. And that someone has to be you and I. My people cannot be this barbaric and no one is doing anything about it. So tell me, what do you want me to do? Oh, you already know what to do, Superintendent. This organization has been known over the years to be the voice of the downtrodden. You fight for justice for the masses. This boy requires justice. And it is only you and your organization that can fight for this justice. You are my last hope, Superintendent. But if I must say, this is a very different case. I don't seem to understand what you mean. Okay, let me explain. You see, Umuagwa Kingdom is reputed to be a peace-loving people who uphold the tenets of their tradition to the letter. And this tradition has ensured peace, equity, justice, and true good morals in the society. I just told you that an innocent boy was buried alive. The boy was buried alive. That boy is not innocent. I can prove it to you. Who can prove it to me? Prove it. Okay. Look at that this way. If that boy were to be innocent, the oath wouldn't have gotten at him. Yes. Let me explain further. He is not the first to have undergone such a ritual. And it has never happened that an innocent was declared guilty. It has never happened. And this has ensured peace, justice, and equity in Umago Kingdom. Superintendent, are you the one saying this? Are you saying that someone will be killed without proper trial and conviction in the court of law? Is that what you are trying to tell me? Even in the court of law, justice is perverted. Corruption is taking over justice. It is even better for one to seek justice before a spirit being who is not willing to be compromised than to seek justice before a human being who will take bribes and give justice in favor of whoever bribed him. Really? <laughs> even that IG of police will tell you to drop this case. Ah. Omago Kingdom has the best record so far when it comes to handling crimes of this nature. But come to think of it, why is it that you are the only one complaining where there are millions of people in Omuagwa who have different perceptions? Spare me, spare me order, spare me order, spare me order. Do I know that this might be a very active? But there's something I want you to do for me. Something? Yes. Mm -hmm. Something like what? What is it? It's about Mami Joma. Okay, what, what about Mami Joma? Um, you see, I want us to go and see that woman on a regular basis. That is where we are going to now. We are going to Mami Joma's house. Yes, I know. That is true. I understand. But you see what I want? I want us to do something like a routine. You go there today, I'll go there tomorrow. You know, help her with some chores. I don't want her to feel the vacuum of her daughter. The, that woman is going through a lot already. You, you can see what happened a day for yesterday at the, at, at the graveside. She almost fell into that graveside. Eh, please. Hi. You're right. You have a point. Yes, I do. That woman must have been going through a lot. A very hard time. You cannot imagine what she's going through. You can't. I want our friend Ijoma to know that yes, these are my friends. That we are with her even in her death. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. You have a point yes, there. Yes, I do. Hi. Mami Ijoma will never feel lonely. Even and after the death and mourning period is over. 
we will make sure that she always sees a daughter in us. Yes, we are daughters. That's Hi. what we have to have. Nee, dear. Would you thank you? Thank you for doing this with me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's go. Thank you so much. Thank you. For you, Mama, we'll always be here for you. Mm. Oh, oh, stop crying. Obina, the one the got convicted of rape, okay. she wasn't herself. She, she and Obina, they loved each other so much. So she developed fever, and in three days she, she died. She just died like that. Just like that. 
What? What kind of love is that? How can one love another to, 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 to that extent? That is what everybody is asking. That's what everybody is asking. Um. I know how you feel. You saw her. You liked her. She was beautiful. She appealed to your eyes and your mind. You intended to marry her. Yes, but marriage is a journey of destiny. Created by destiny itself. She was never your wife. If she was, she would still be alive. She would live for you. So, I want you to cheer up. Brace up for the future. Give yourself a little time. And you will find another beautiful lady from this kingdom that will appear to your eyes. I've heard you, Father. Don't let it weigh you down. You are a man. You are royalty. The death of the maiden should not stop you from your manly duties. Time, they say, waits for no man. Thank you, Father. Oh, 
Change that you want to see. Get me those canes. Huh? Yes. Hurry. My priest. That will be the height of it, my priest. Yes, it my will priest. be the height of it. My priest, don't do this. Now go go queen. That's it. That's it. That's it. Man, that's it. But I told you to petition this idea of yours. So far as I'm concerned, that community is one of the most peaceful communities in this part of the world. Not when a man of my caliber is humiliated to that tone. I was assaulted physically, mentally, and socially. And if Amnesty International does not do anything about my case, I will tell the whole world how you failed humanity. Superintendent, the boys assaulted me. Superintendent, they, they assaulted me. That's too bad of the prince. Too, too bad. He went too far. Too, too far. Too, too far, Superintendent. And he cannot go scot-free. No, 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 no. I will fight him with every medium available to me. Starting with you. And if you ever fail. Oh, not to worry, not to worry. Nobody is above the law. I know what to do. Okay? Now you're talking. It's alright. Now you're talking. Please clean your eyes, stop crying. Eh? <coughs> you're coming. <coughs> My prince. Yeah. A lady is at the outer court waiting for you. With no identity. She says she's from Amnesty International. Amnesty International? Yes, my friends. <laughs> All right, tell her I'll be with her shortly. It is normal to be human, but to be human, we don't have to be normal. We can think, we can reason, cause time. I have a letter for you. What's the content of the letter? All the information you need is in the letter. What you have to do is to sign for me over here.
from the office of the superintendent of amnesty international south central region nigeria west africa a letter of summon johnson That has no idea who he's dealing with. Flogging him in the first place. Why? Well, I felt it was the only way I could stop him from coming to the palace and constituting a nuisance. I don't believe that. You have no reason whatsoever to molest nor assault your fellow human being. It is not right. I never did that. My father never did. I'm sorry, father. Very sorry. I have always told you that your ability to control your anger is what makes you a great king. Kings don't act in anger. Once again, I'm sorry. It's all right. Go on and start the call. We will know what to do afterwards. As a royal son of such a respected community, you're expected to be a leading light and not a purveyor of immorality. Now tell me, how will you feel if I get an arrest warrant and invade the, the, the palace with my boys to effect your arrest? In full view of your subjects, how will you feel? Um, first of all, officer, let me thank you for um, the respect, respect you accorded to me, uh, the privilege to discuss this, um, you know, this way. <coughs> now I see that I overreacted. I did. Well, that guy is very stubborn. Very stubborn. My father and I and, and all the members of my father's uh, cabinet have warned him to stop coming to our land to say all sorts of rubbish you know he comes here and he says things that can bring curses you know to the people of this land things that can destroy you know the, the, the essence of our existence what we believe in you know things that can cause issues for us we have warned him uh, several times he wouldn't listen you know so I, I thought about doing something to him that will make him not to come here again that's all but you will agree with me that most of the things he's saying, or rather agitating for, are correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. You see, the rule of law must be upheld everywhere in the world. And it must also be upheld in this country, which your community is an integral part of. I must say that most of the traditions you practice in your community are against the law. And that is why the young man is agitating for a change. I do not agree with you, officer. What we practice in our land is supreme. And it is more beneficial to our people than the rule of law. Trust me. Officer, please, do me this honor. Accompany me to my place. I would like to show you a few things. Yes things that will interest you. Please, be my guest. I'll also invite Mr. Johnson to come. Let me show you a few things. Above. 
Johnson and my son, and your timely intervention. I like the maturity you displayed. I like what my son has done today also. That is bringing you home. At least you will help us broadcast to the world that we are not barbaric. We are not murderers. We only kill criminals and lawbreakers like the law does. The only difference is the process. Hmm. My son will take you around. But before then, some members of my cabinet shall present you with Kula. Uh, you know, I cannot present you Kula. Even my son cannot present you Kula. It's only members of my cabinet that can do that. Are you in the cola? <laughs> Thank you for your oh, Once more, once more, welcome. Welcome to my father's. What we practice over the years has proven to be supreme and supernatural. If we kill an innocent person, we will suffer for it. We keep immorality, crime, injustice away from our midst. Anyone who tries to fight it will not live to tell the story. I know. You know, Assistant Inspector General of Police, Mosa Mustafi. There was a case. He came to the palace to arrest our former king, not this king, saying, We took the law in our hands. He was wrecking in the palace. The people were trying to make him understand, but he wouldn't listen. Did you know what happened to him? The van. The van with which he came with his policemen. They were all standing beside the van. All of a sudden, the engine of the van came alive and it went into reverse with a great speed he smashed the assistant inspector general of police on the wall he died instantly the rest policemen took to their heel they ran away and told his story i heard that story didn't you hear it i didn't hear anything how will you hear? Keep listening. This is Barista Okenwa, son. He took up a case of a certain young man who was buried alive after an oath was administered on him. The gods found him guilty of rape. The day the case was called up in court, the lawyer died in a motor accident. 
no one came up to handle the case and the case died a natural death. I do not want to bother you on lengthy tales of Colonel Jude who came with his boys. But I want to urge you. The essence of keeping these pictures is for posterity to know that we, we know what we are doing. I want to urge you to go. If you do not want the fate of these people and your picture to be here to befall you, go. Go. Okay, I'm next. We're not near. I dare to call to no more war. Thank you, Chris. Are you still interested in change? Can we talk about this another day? I lack ways for now. The world is a mysterious place and it's beyond what you see. But we don't have a choice. We don't have a choice. We're dead. What have we done to deserve your visit? What kind of thing is this?
whatever be the reason. Oh no, I whatever be the reason. I was afraid. I didn't know where it was coming from. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, hey! What has Mazi Obi done to deserve this kind of death? One who is a lover of peace. Oh. Look at me, oh. Look at me. I'm a widow. Me, I'm a widow. My husband. My husband is gone. No. You know my husband is gone. Yeah, so sorry. Have patience. It's okay. It's okay. Sorry. 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 And in my dream, I had an all crying. When I woke up, I realized it was crying on top of our room. I woke my husband. I woke him up. We tried to stay awake. We tried. We tried. Oh, just a little sleep. A little slumber. I woke up now. I'm husband in this car. <laughs> Come, you said the evil all? <laughs> it's cried all night, so it's cried all night. It's cried all night, so. Help. The evil owl? Yes, your highness. It cried yesterday night. I drew stuff of my lady. And the same night he died. Hey! Hey! Who has committed the abominable? Who has done the things we are told not to do? And has kept it from us? God, Safal, please, we are sorry. Uh, um, Your Highness, I, I, I'm of the opinion that we should not conclude yet. Let's allow the Chief Priest to do something. Then we can decide. Maybe Mazobi has committed something abominable. And the gods decided to deal with him directly. So let's not generalize everything now. So we have more reason to conclude. I am just from his house right now. It is obvious that the entire family slept last night and did not wake up. The man died. The pregnant wife died. Including the two children. The entire community right now are all assembled in his house including those from neighboring kingdom what a calamity Igwe the news is already threatening on the internet many people have posted on different social media platforms Igwe this is a huge one it's a big one we're in big problem 
It is obvious that the death plague has visited the land. Very obvious, Igwe. And we must be fast about the families to avoid losing more lives. Who is this that troubles the land? Who? Whoever he is, he must fist out. Now, Igwe. Yes. Would you, my friend, mm -hmm. at least we will fetch water for her that she will use for three days, you know, for fetch and that one. My dear, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't have a problem with that. The problem I have is what is happening in this kingdom. That is the problem I have now, this kingdom. What has this kingdom done to you? The death plague. <laughs> death plague? What death plague? Since you've been not dying. Do you know how many people that have died? Is this your friend now? Look at you. Are you in this kingdom at all? Yes. Uh, okay, what happened? Ne. The evil owl cried on top of one, uh, one Maziob of Umede Kindred. The evil owl cried on top of his roof last night. And that same night, the man died. Are you serious? My dear, just today, another man, his pregnant wife, and two of his children died after the evil owl cried on top of their roof. My sister. <laughs> Wait, Uju. Are you saying the truth? Are you serious? Are you not in this village? Uju, are you serious? Are you, are you, are you not in here? The news is everywhere. The news is everywhere on the internet. If even on Facebook, Umago Kingdom is trending. Just Umago Kingdom everywhere, everywhere on the internet. Hey, hey, would you? So, 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 wait. All these stories we have been hearing, even when we're small, they are happening now and they are true. My sister, the plague of that, that story is real. It's real, my dear. Someone has defiled this land. I just, I just hope the Igwe will do the need to know so that all these things will stop. I'm even surprised you don't even know what I'm talking about. I do not know what is happening, no. I'm, I'm just sharing it, though. Hey! 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 Are you serious? I am serious, my dear. Hey! That is the only problem I have now. This, this whole thing that is happening in this kingdom. That is, that is my problem. Ja, 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 ja. Elders of our land, Rise up. evil has besieged our land. The death plague is everywhere. More and more people will die. Please, please, let us know the cause of the plague so that we can deal with it straight away to avoid losing more people in the land. Please, wise one. Do something, wise one, please. Elders of our land, your wise one. Evil has been committed and covered. But my problem is why the gods have refused to reveal the family that has committed this evil. So, we can cast lots and fish out the abominable and do the needful. Wise one, the gods cannot just hide it away from you. They can't. They have to reveal it to you now. Now. Yes. Our people are dying. Who knows in this family? Yes. Yeah. Please yes. communicate with the gods. Oh yes, wise one. Wise one. Will the gods prefer we all die? As it now stands, nobody knows the next roof. The evil all will visit this night. No, no, no. no please. No, we cannot continue like this. Seek for answer to the problem. Please, wise one. Do it for us. Ja 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 ja. 
Ja 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 o ja 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 o ja ja ja. Na gan de kuo. Ja 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 o ja 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 o ja ja ja. Amala boye, amala boye. Ja 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 o ja 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 o ja ja ja. No way. I will not take this from you. Never. Igwe, the whole thing is suspicious. Yes, it is, Your Highness. He confirmed that the play had visited us. But the gods refused to reveal the cause to him. Do they want us to all to die? If I ever get to that ancient Tunamiri shrine myself, I will not take it lightly with him. He has to start talking now because I cannot afford to lose any more soul to that evil creature. No! No way! And your highness, what do we do now? We have to make him to talk. He has to start talking anywhere. We can't continue sitting like this. The gods cannot keep silent. Just like that. It's not possible. They say tradition is for man. It is no man for tradition. So if man can make tradition, man could have changed it. So let's change whatever we know is wrong now. It is time for decision. Let's do what is right. If we wait till tomorrow, it could have been late. I can see the king is troubled. The death plague has visited my kingdom in my own time. The last time this kind of thing happened in this kingdom, my father wasn't even born. Why now? Why me? What evil have I committed? Hmm. Father. You have not committed any evil. Don't let it bother you. You're a good man. My people are dying in their numbers. If nothing is done to stop this, we shall all be in danger. Mm. This evil owl has no respect for anybody. Be you a king or a common. Upon any roof that it descends on, death must occur. And as it stands now, mm. no one knows upon which roof it will descend on next. Mm. This is serious. Very serious, my son. Very serious. And I cannot fold my hands and watch this happen. No way. I have to do something. Mr. Johnson, I sent for you because there is something very important I want to ask you. So what makes you think that the young man that was killed by your village chief priest was innocent? The young man was denied the right of fair hearing in the court of law. Just that? It is big. It is massive, Superintendent. All these ancient, archaic, barbaric practices must be put to an end now. That is what I am agitating for. I think, uh, given the trending videos on the internet, uh, what you said seems to be right. How? I am talking about the supremacy of the belief of the people of Mohawk. The death plague is in town. And it takes the death of an innocent man or allowing an abominable person within the community for the death plague to strike. Superstitious belief, Superintendent. What is a mere superstitious belief? They won't do us any good. Any ideology 
There has no scientific proof whatsoever. It's not worth believing, let alone practicing superintendent. Ah! Brother, you have to go back. You have to go back immediately. Amuche, you don't expect me to come back today and go back to city today. It's not possible. Go to our maternal home. Go there. I'm not going anywhere, Amuche. I'm not going anywhere. Brother, my dreams always come true. Joseph the dreamer. I saw the evil owl cried in my dream. The next morning, you were a dead man. Brother, you are the only surviving male in our late father's family. If anything happens to you now, our father's lineage will close forever. Please save our father's lineage, brother Biko. Biko. Amuche, Amuche, are we the only people in this kingdom? We have other people living there here. We have other people doing their business here. You don't expect me to leave my place of birth and go back to the city because of a mad dream you had. Amuche, I have one week to stay in this village till my new club signs me. I'm not going anywhere. Please, I beg you, let me be for now. <laughs> Nothing shall happen to you, my brother. Nothing shall happen to you. You shall live. I prophesy to you this moment. You shall live, brother. You shall live. I shall live also. Nothing shall happen to us. Nothing shall happen to us. Wherever they gather, may they scatter in one way or the other. May they scatter. May they scatter. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. You shall live. You shall live. You shall live. You shall live. Going to stay for one week. Obolobu, no man. I can't afford to lose my life in this village. Not now a new club wants to sign me. Yes, I'll be back when everything is over. Okay? Bye-bye. <sighs> At last. Oh, 
Ana Ana ma Holland mo. O si ngo, o si ngo It's obvious the cause of this problem that has been happening in this village has been revealed to him. I pray so, because we've lost a lot of lives. Hey, the gods of our land have mercy on us. My king, the chief priest is at the gate. Tell him I cannot wait to see him here now. Yes, my king. We can think, we can reason, cause time and time in the same. We can adjust, we can move, we can turn around from time to time. I am a Tell me what your eyes have seen, wise one. Who has offended the gods? Who has brought this death plague upon us? Tell me, and I will take the necessary action. Your Majesty, the gods have now revealed the offender. Then tell me what your eyes have seen. Mm. The next roof. The evil all will visit tonight. And whose roof is that? My king's roof. Yes. My king's roof. The evil all will visit tonight. Another cry of the cock in the morning. One out of the king or the prince shall die. I saw it clear. That is why I am here to inform you. What kind of news is this? I am here expecting you to tell me who has offended the gods that brought the death plague upon us. And you are here telling me that the death roll is on and will visit my household? Are you insane? Your Majesty, let it be an abomination if I decide to keep the secret from you. Let me also pay with my blood and the blood of my children. Let it be an abomination to me that the gods will review those behind these calamities befalling us. And I keep it to myself. Your Majesty, let me, let me die. Let me shed my own blood and that of my children and children's children if I decide to keep the secret away from you. Of what use are you to me in times like this if you cannot reveal to me the cause of my problem? Of what use? Your Majesty, I have played my part. The ball is now in your court. If you like, you play it well. 
If you like, leave it. I have told you. When I thought I have seen it all, who have I offended? What is happening to me? My whole world just crumbling before my very eyes. My once adorable kingdom. A kingdom of peace and love that I inherited from my fathers has not turned to a nightmare in my very own eyes. No. I can't fold my hands and watch this happen. I must take my destiny in my own hands. Yes, I must. Man will come, man will go, but gotcha will remain. Time will come, time will pass, but nothing is the same. It's all about time we make a man. It's all about time we make a change. My king, we are here at your service. I am driving alone today, in the company of no one but me. My king, you are... It's an order from your king. Sorry, my king. Now, go get the gate man to open the gate. Whatever be your reason, remember say we all got a reason to live our lives and see tomorrow. With hopes and dreams, like kings and queens, life is a gift, no man can give another. So let us rethink, so no one should kill another. Whatever be the reason, honor, I, whatever be the reason. Man will come, man will go, but God shall remain. God shall remain. Why are you all here? Who, who went out to my father? My prince, the king insisted that he must go alone. Alone? Yes, my prince. That's strange. So let's change whatever we know is wrong now. It is time for decision. Let's do what is right if we wait. When it's time to evolve Fast will be unstoppable When it's time to evolve I am an even an essence I am an even an essence I'm an an and a dead end Candinary, Candinasa It's the same God
I know you can hear me. My father told me about you. His father told him about you also. You are the all-knowing creature that exists only for the initiated. You live amongst men, yet men deny your existence. I am not one of those that deny your existence. I do not only know that you exist. I also believe in your powers. I believe that your eyes rove round the whole world. No secret is hidden from you. Please, show yourself to this mortal. Show yourself! Show yourself! What do you want? Oh, troubled soul. My world is crumbling before my very eyes. Wise one. The ordinances my fathers gave me, that I have kept. I have not offended in anyone. Yet, death plague visited me. My subjects are taken in their numbers. I am ready to amend my ways and dig with the offender of the gods. But the gods have refused to reveal to me who the offender is. Please, wise one, reveal to me why the gods are silent and yet punish him with death untold. Look, you can see for yourself amongst you who trouble the land. my prince. You're very beautiful. Thank you. Are you a visitor or a daughter of the soil? I'm not a visitor, my prince. I'm a daughter of the soil. Oh, really? Yes. Who's your father? I'm the only daughter of late Mazia Fumnani of Fumwaka Kindred. Oh, I see. I like you. You know what? Why don't you come into the car? Let's uh, let's go somewhere. I I'll bring you back. To um, I'm sorry, my prince, but I'm I'm waiting for someone. Someone. Yes, he will soon be here. A uh, he. Yes. Oh, he's even here, my prince. Greetings. What happened? 
Nothing. Nothing. Why was he looking at me like that? How am I supposed to know? I don't know. You don't know. Obim, I was standing here waiting for you. He drove past. I didn't even know he was the one. Until he brought out his window and started talking to me. Then what exactly did he tell you? Yeah, Akwa. Obim? Yes, because I saw that look in his eyes. Yes, it meant a lot. Okay, he just parked here. Started talking to me. Said he wanted me to go with him, but I declined. Are you okay now? Oh, I see. <laughs> so he's jealous of me. Look where? This one. Hmm? See this one. I see. Please, Biko, let's go to where we are going. And before we go, why did you have to keep me standing here for so long? Is it not Mazubi? He refused to pay me for my grass cutter. He said I should come back to you. And you could not even say you are sorry. Ah, oh, Jim, I'm very sorry. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, but I'm only Don't touch. Can you go? Can you go, Rod? See, I don't do with you. Let's go to where you go. She's been all this while. I, uh, I've been searching in vain. But that boy, that boy, who is he to her? Let it not be that. Anyway, does it really matter? I am the prince, the next king of Umuagwa Kingdom. Every woman will freely run into my arms on my wish. Yes. <laughs> she is mine and mine forever. I want this done diligently. And feedback given to me before the end of today. I'm listening, my prince. Good. The young girl we saw yesterday on the road. I want to know everything about her. Where she lives, where she hangs out. I also want to know who that boy is to her. Okay? Everything I need to know about her. I'll get your feedback before the sunset, my prince. Her name is Ijoma. She lives with her widow mother at Amazara area of Umaka Kindred, Afunaya family to be precise. She helps her mother in her broom making business. The young man you met the other day is her lover. Yes, and they are even planning to get married soon. Mm -hmm. about this visit from the king's family. Trouble not yourself, man. 
and come in peace. We are sent to bring your daughter, Ijoma. Her presence is needed in the palace. What did you do? Oh, I didn't do anything. Oh, what is shut up, Mama? I didn't do anything. Then why did the king make your presence in the palace? It was not the king that sent for her. The prince did. but I have given my word to another. Ah, oh, please. It's just a word. People give their words all the time. You can always take it back. Take back your word, please. Um, my prince, I'm sorry, but I can't. First time standing this close to a man like me, so you're bound to get jittery, you know. Say certain things you don't mean. It's alright. I'll let it pass. Maybe we'll have this discussion some other time. Okay. Thank you, my prince. C can I go now? Please. Thank you. No wait. Please. Um, 
No, my prince, I, I can't find my Please, way. Please, don't say no. I'm royalty. I'll be offended if you say no. Please. My boys will take you home. Okay. Please, take any of my cars. When you go out there, tell any of them. They'll take you home. Don't let me go. Don't let me go. Easy, let me land. I should take what is easy. Talk to me now. What did he say? He asked me to marry him. Hey! Hey! Anyway, my guess was right after. Hey! Onya Kambuze. Le Kwa Negi. Le Kwa Palace. Hey! Uh, mama, hey? mama, mama, please, eh? Just stop dancing for now. I told him. You told him what? Tell you what I come. I told him that I belong to another. And who is another? That's Riff Raff. Obina, where? Okay? Mama, yes. Obina. That machine gone already. Let me not hear it from you again. Hey! Ne kwa no more. Ne kwa palas. Si jambu. Ne kwa gip. Ne kwa palas. Oh yes, I'm going to palas. The person I love is Obina, and he's the one I will spend the rest of my life with. Hey! I have always known a day like this would come. A day you'd have to choose between the poor and helpless of unlike me and the high and might. I have always known it would come. But never did I know it would come so soon.
what we share is beyond affection. It is beyond love. What we share is called destiny. We are destined to be together and no evil force can come between us easily. I know of so many destinies that we are never fulfilled. So many dreams that never came true. As we scale through, I believe it. I believe it so much. I believe it down in my heart. Please. Can a man challenge the gods to a fight? How can I be dragging a maiden with the almighty prince of this kingdom? You are listen. You are not dragging me with anyone. I am yours and yours alone. The love is meant to endure through the trying times. Will you wait for me? There's a love is meant to endure through the trying times. Stand for me I will wait for you I'll be here I want to see you now You should make your people and your job Hey, Choma Hey, Mama Are you bewitched or what? Hey, Choma, tell me So after the princess proposal to you, you still want to be involved with that low life of a boy? Well, mother, that low life is my choice. Listen. Listen. Now listen to me and listen very good. You see that call put across to you by the prince of this kingdom yesterday. My dear automatically nullify everything i mean everything you have with that low life boy secondly i don't want to ever see that boy in this compound again really yes well mother i'm going to make this clear if you want him not to come here to see me anymore it is fine because i'll just run straight to him a thousand of you cannot stop what i feel for Obina! 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 Ah, Mama? I am not your mother, Obina. Obina, now listen to me. I never wanted to stop you and each other, my daughter, for any reason. Because it's her life and choice. Not until the prince of this land showed face and proposed to her. Ha, Obina, I just want to ask you just one question. If each other, my daughter, was to be your sister. Will you allow her to marry a low life like you? I have been answered this question. I will be in a place. I beg you in the name of God. I beg you in the name of any God that you serve. Please stop seeing my daughter. Stop seeing my daughter. Allow her to enjoy the destiny that the God of this land has offered to her. Ubina. If you really, really love my daughter as you claim, Obina, you will tell her to go and marry the prince. Obina, that is exactly what I want from you. Unless you want to face my boss. Yes. What are you thinking about? Hmm? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, Ijem. You know, your mother came to my house after you left yesterday. She did? Oh, yes, she did. What did she come to do? Ijem, you see, in life, some dreams are not meant to come true. I know you love me so much, and I love you too. 
Ijim, but as it stands now, this relationship will never work. If I stop you from becoming the next queen of this kingdom just to marry me, then I will be the most selfish human being that ever lived. Please, my love. Please. Speak no further. I know my mother will think that this is the best thing that has happened to me. I mean, the prince coming to ask for my hand in marriage. And I know deep down in your heart you will think that the best thing you can offer me is to allow me marry the prince. But no. How wrong both of you are. My love, you are the best thing that has happened to me all my life. I can't live a day without you. You are part of my existence. I wouldn't want you to leave me when the going gets tough. I should be the one saying that to you. <laughs> Promise me you would never leave me when the going gets tough. Please promise me. I promise you today that no matter how rough tough this journey gets, I will never, ever leave you. And I give you my words. Any day I ever think of leaving you, there will never be any life left in me. I love you. I love you too. I love you so much. <laughs> Ah, no, no, I can't take it. I can't take it. Have a good day. Ichama, wait there. Ichama, now listen to me and listen very good. If that boy has used charms on you, I promise you, Ichama, today, today I am going to destroy those charms. In that boy. What did you say in him? Now, he tell me. So this, our poverty state, is pleasing to you? It's pleasing to you, eh? Even when God himself is about to take you out of poverty. Eh? Mama, you are shouting, please. Hey! He tell It's not a shout. Mama, Mama, listen. I don't know why you are doing this, but I'm just going to make this point clear. If you're tired of me being alive, if you don't want to see me again, you want me to join my late father, your husband. It is simple. All you need to do is stop me from seeing Obina. Just that, and your wish should be granted. It's not an Obanje. It's not an Obanje thing. I have told you what I want to tell you. I have said the truth and nothing but the truth. This love is meant to endure Through the trying times Will you wait for me? This love Greetings to you, man. Greetings to you, my son. You please sent us to come and pick your daughter to the palace. You want to see her?
When she left this house. But don't worry. Tell the prince. Immediately she returns. I personally will bring her to the palace. All right, we'll deliver your message. We have to be on our way now. It's so bad, yeah. All right. All right, ma'am. Well, bye bye, man. Whatever be your reason, remember, say we all got a reason. To live our lives uh, and see tomorrow with hopes and dreams like kings and queens. Life is a gift, no man can give another. So let us rethink, so no one should kill another. Whatever be the reason, honor, I, whatever be the reason. What's the girl that My prince, when we got there, mother went inside to call her. Only to find out that she's no longer in the house. Uh, what sort of a stupid story is that? How could she not know that her daughter was not in the house? And it's too early. She should be at home helping her mother with mm -hmm. making drinks or something. My prince, I think something transpired. What transpired? My prince, from observation, nearly we drove into the compound. I noticed that the guest sneaked out. Yes, my prince. So, Ijen. Mm -hmm. You mean they are still waiting for you? Mm hmm. Whenever they are tired, they will go home. It's not by force to marry someone. I told them that already. That's true. But how about your mother? Does she not know you have left the house? Mm -hmm. She didn't even know when I left it. I believe she used to be thinking I'm inside the house until she goes in and doesn't find me. No, no. Moreover, I'm not even ready to go home yet. <sighs> <laughs> Well, you know you are always safe with me. You always <laughs> keep me out. What? Come out. Come. I'll go home. Tempest will rise. The thunders will strike. Will you wait for me? Judgment will pass. Will you wait for me? Will you stand for me? My daughter, please come. When you're mine, come and see me. Come, mommy. Will you wait for me? Will you stand for me? Don't let me go. Mama. Mama, please. I want us to talk like mother and daughter. Okay, Mama, I'm I'm listening. 
you know, I know about love. And I also believe in love. Yes. I also know about destiny. And I believe in destiny. My dear. Mama. You are the only daughter of a poor widow like me. <laughs> and poverty is your lot. You getting married to that poor orphan. That means there is no play of destiny. Because all your life you have known poverty. Yes. Destiny will only play if you are married into the palace. Then, from a poor widow's daughter to a queen, that is destiny. Yes. Mama, you know you haven't really spent time with Obina. Mama, you need to be with him and hear him talk. He has plans. He has prospects. Now tell me, what future can a man have with traps and matches? Tell me, what prospect can he have with Rex and Rose? Tell me. Ma, you didn't even allow me to speak. He has plans of setting up a fish farm and a bushmeat farm. Mama, that is big business. He will make lots of money from it. My daughter, how can you choose fantasy over reality? Because in that fantasy, I have a reason to live. Take away Obina from me. You take away life from me. Come on, will you shut up your mouth? What is wrong with you? Eh? I don't want to hear that from you again. Are you an Obanje? You want Obanje? Eh? What is wrong with you? Will you wait for me? You told my servants that you would personally bring your daughter to my palace yesterday. I waited the whole day, I did not see you. Why? My prince, please. Don't be angry with a nobody like me. Please. <coughs> that girl did not return to this house last night until it was very late at night. <laughs> Even after I told her, Last night, that first thing this morning, that I am going to bring her to the palace. Before I woke up this morning, she has already left the house. Please, as it is now, I can't even tell anything about her whereabouts. Run far away from this place, please. Did you say run? Run to where? Somewhere where the prince would not reach us. My love, we, we can go to another country. Somewhere where we can, we can raise a family, start a new life and be at peace. I cannot run away from my father's land. Never! It's when the high and mighty would not take no for an answer. Please listen to me, I beg you. Please. Did you? You don't win a fight by running away from it. You win by confronting your challenge. Looking at it eyeball to eyeball. As long as you stand on your word for me, I will not leave you and nobody shall take you away from me. I am not a coward. I will stand here and fight for what is mine. 
Marriage is by choice, not by force. Not yet here. Not yet. Don't you think she's keeping the king waiting for so long? Uh, I'm, I'm really very sorry, Father. I, I don't know what the problem is. Honestly. I don't know. It's okay. I'm still waiting. Today, tomorrow. Next week, even next month. Just know that I am still waiting. Alright. Thank you, Father. I will not disappoint you. I give you my word. I know what to do. Excuse me. To be human, but to be human, we don't have to be normal. We can think, we can reason. Cause time and time in the same. We cannot judge, we can move, we can turn around. I kept the king and I waiting all day long. Are you aware? My prince, she did not sleep in this house. I can swear with my life and the grave of my husband here. Are you lying to me? My prince, how can I lie to you? Should I search your house? My prince, yes, you are free. Go and search. Greetings to the great prince of Omagu Kingdom. To what do I owe this royal visit? There is only one prince in this land. And that is the man standing before you. Are you aware? Of course, my prince. I'm much aware. A prince cannot be seen in contest with a commoner over a woman. Are you also aware? The woman I want to marry is being distracted by you. 
I can go ahead and get married to her without your consent and nothing will happen. But as a good man, I've come to make you an offer. Name your price. Any amount of money you want, I'll give it to you. Enjoy it, spend it, change your life. But leave that girl for me. Well, my prince, the only gift I shall accept in exchange for my love for Ijoma is the gift of death. As long as I am alive, no amount of money or wealth can ever take her away from me. Not even to the gifts of half of your kingdom, my friend. It's a taboo for a royal blood to be insulted by a commoner. You have just insulted me. I can see that you look worried. I'm not upset, okay? I've not come here to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. Believe me, I've come to give my consent to their union. Yes. See, um, I've thought about everything. You know, I took my time to study the situation. and I realized that your daughter really loves that young man. And the young man really loves him. Yes, and you see, uh, matters of love, it's not good to you know, meddle with it. Put asunder. No, I'm not that kind of a person. So, like I said, I've come here to give my consent to their union. Huh? They can go ahead and get married. Also, I want to bless them and bless you for giving birth to a beautiful woman who found favor in my sight. I have something for you. My boy will give it to you. Thank you very much, my prince. Thank you. Thank you, my prince. Thank you very much. Finally, giving us common sense to all speak together. Send him. 
found out that you are destined to it. And nothing on earth can separate you. You're kidding, right? I am not kidding. He even gave my mother some money to start up a new business for herself and to tell her how happy he is for us. Hey! Hey! Cause I hey! Couple at the other court who are here to see you. A couple? Yes, my prince. Are you sure I'm the one they want to see or my father? Yes, I'm sure. They waited to see you. Alright, tell them I'll join them shortly. Yes, my prince. received the news of how you came to give your consent to our union. We are very happy and so grateful for this singular act of kindness. And we have come to show our appreciation. Thank you so much, my prince. Yes, thank you very much, my prince. We will always live to remember this. We will tell our children and they in turn will tell their own children of this great tale of love. Thank you. that both of you are really in love. Madly in love, actually. So, it will not be nice of me to try to separate you, okay? And you'll always have my support, please. You're young people, I know that. You'll always need help. If you need anything, anything at all, don't hesitate to call on me, okay? <laughs> yes, you can always walk into the palace. Hey, and ask. hello. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. It's all right. Anything at all. Hmm? Thank you. It's okay. Take good care of her. I'm looking for Antirus. Antirus? Yes. Who be Antirus? She cooks here for the king. You know, say you they come? Yes, she is. She's aware I'm coming. Uh, hey, Antirus. Uh, you don't expect anybody. Okay, okay, okay. She said, Make I bring you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. She needs a kiss. Thank you. Thank you. You 
will stay here and wait for her. And she will soon come and see you. All right. Mm. Thank you. All right. Just Thank take care of yourself. You're welcome. Thank you. What were you thinking when you were selecting this dress? You used to come to the palace to see me. Auntie, you see this dress? It has a target. Target how? And I know today I must hit that target. I, I don't understand. Auntie, I have always liked the prince. And my instinct is telling me that I am destined to be married in this palace. So you see, I did not come to see you. Mm. I have a plan. And I have a mission to just knock that down. I see. Oh, you're yes, done, man. I see. Thank you. What don't you have to do to me? Um, anything small? I see. You know. <laughs> Thank you so much. This car very well. Yes, I did. Don't lie to me. I'm sorry, my friends, but I'm not lying. We have to rush the car the moment you call us that we're going to go. What are you rushing? Can you tell me you rush? What are you rushing? Huh? I don't mess with cleanliness. Should I have cleaned this car very then? I'm sorry, my friends. Good morning, my friends. Good morning, fairness of 10,000. The bright morning star of Umuago Kingdom. I greet you, my friends. Good morning. Are you... Are you a daughter of the soil, a visitor? Yes, my friends. Uh, she, she's a daughter of the soil. She's my elder sister's first daughter. Uh, who is working in the city. She came around to see me. Yes, my friends, I lived in this village. I attended my primary and secondary school in this village before I left the city to attend my full education. Make sure you don't leave. I I'm telling you, 
Yes, you really hit the target. Do you know that the prince called me and started asking me questions about you? Eh. He said he wants to see you this night in the palace. And I promise him I'm going to get you. Stop screaming and get the Fujist first. Listen, you are coming to the palace this night. And from all indications, you will spend the night with the prince. Yes! <laughs> I told you. I told you, yes. Eh. So get yourself fully ready. Eh? To come and finish the job you started though. I'm so happy for you, my dear. I'm so happy. <laughs> Good luck. Eh? Okay, okay. I'm waiting, yes. I'm waiting for you. Hey. <laughs> Good. Very beautiful. Thank you so much. Your aunt and I discussed um, quite a lot concerning you. And she said good things about you. Thank you. I'm impressed. I know you would love to be the next queen of this kingdom. Of course, that has always been my dream. Something in me keeps telling me I was born to be in this palace. And this is where I belong. I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> I also would love to believe that you're ready to do anything, anything it takes to see yourself become the next queen in this kingdom. Only one man stands between you and your dream of becoming the next queen of this land. You see, I like you and I would love to get married to you. Well, this man knows quite a lot. Believe me, he knows a lot. He knows so much that can stop me from getting married to you. And if we leave this man to do what he wants to do, believe me, you may not become the next queen of this land. So, I need you to help me take out this man so you can become the next queen of this kingdom. Are you ready? No man has ever made me feel the way he just did the slides. <laughs> I think this is my destiny and I'm going to take it into my hands. Good. But I have just little fears. What are your fears? If I persist, he rapes me. He's going to deny it. And the only way to know the truth is by taking the oath. Do you want me to lie against someone? Take the oath, and the oath takes my life. Nothing will happen to you. The oath will not affect you. I give you my word, okay? You'll be vindicated, and the young man will be condemned. And how are you going to achieve this? Do not worry about the how. I am the how. This is not convincing yet at all. It's not. <laughs> the chief priest who will handle the oath-taking exercise is my person. 
I have him sorted out. I mean, why will I send you to accuse someone of rape, take an oath and die? Do I have any issues with you? Hmm? No. Uh -huh. I don't have any issues with you, so you have nothing to worry about. I thought about this, I've planned it very well. And I know it's going to work, okay? If this side wouldn't work, I would have thought of uh, another means of eliminating the guy. But I'm sure this process would work. Just do your part and leave the rest to me. Okay? Okay, I'm going to do this because of the love I have for you. And my quest to be the queen. I also want you to know that this is a lifetime opportunity. There are millions of girls out there who will jump at it, believe me. So you should be grateful that I gave this opportunity to you, okay? Do your part, and I promise you, you're going to be the next queen of this kingdom. Okay? Now, where were we? Auntie, you're not looking happy. I mean, you're not cheerful at all. What's the problem? What's happened? Auntie, don't mind me. I'm fine. I'm doing great. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm fine, Auntie. Yeah. Trust me. I am fine. Okay. <laughs> now, tell me, how did it go? Oh, the prince? Yes. He likes me. Okay. And I like him too. Um, we're trying to know each other in you know, a small, small, and it's my little marriage. Are you serious? Yes. Good. <laughs> Sit down. Just relax, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, let me go and prepare breakfast. Right. You will eat some, something before you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Relax. How am I sure that the prince is telling me the truth? That look in his eyes. That first time he saw me. Yes, he likes me. He must be telling me the truth. After all, he doesn't know me before now, so why would he want me to go and swear just that I might die? What will he stand to gain from my death? He must be saying the truth. And if this is the cross I have to bear to be called the next queen of this kingdom, then I will have to bear it. Great things don't come easily, they come with challenge. I have come to you, great one, because I know you're the only one who can help me. Spirits in your father's kingdom. They are spirits of honesty and uprightness. They are not a spirit one can maneuver. What you seek is impossible. Even the chief priest in your kingdom cannot be bought over. You better not try it, else you die. Great one, please. Uh, I trust you. I, I believe in you. Isn't there any way you can help me? I, I really need this. I, I need it badly. Please do something. I know you can. Like the real one. 
But you, you have to find a way to swap it with the real one. Once he holds the fake staff of power, his communication with the spirit will be jeopardized. And on the old swearing day, whatsoever we ask the magic staff to do, it will do. And everyone will believe that the man is guilty as charged, while the girl shall be pronounced innocent. <laughs> Thank you, great one. I have always trusted you. Please, stick with me till the end. And I promise you, I'll be your loyal son forever. You can go now. Thank you, great one. When do I get the stuff? Everything is set. You have to do it tomorrow morning. Okay. My mother has a farmland in the Uma forest. Since we go there to check his traps every morning, I think I'll be there tomorrow morning. Good, good. This is your chance. Make it count. All right? All right. I'm doing this for the love I have for you and the trunk. I know. I understand. And I promise you, everything you want, I shall grant you, my queen. Sorry, uh, I need your help. I have some bundle of firewood over there and I can't lift, lift it on my head. I need someone to help me lift it. Please, can you follow me over there and help me lift the firewood on my head? Why don't you divide it into tones that you can lift and take it home? Um, our house is very far and that means going to the house and coming back to the farm. That's very far. Please, I beg in the name of God. All I need is just your assistance. I want you to help me get to where my bundle of firewood is and help me lift it. Please. Please. Just a help. Please. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Where are you taking me to? I can't see any bundle of firewood. It's not somewhere far, very close. Just the next, I think the next place, that's where my bundle of firewood is. Please, just help me, I beg you. All I need is just your help. I am tired. Please. 
I've been walking with you for the past how many minutes? We are I can't see any close. firewood. We are almost close. Just the next place. That's where my Next dad. where? The, the next. Okay, let's just walk forward. I'm sorry, I can't continue. I need to go back to my hunting. Uh, what are you doing? What are you up to? What are you doing? Are you alright? Good morning, my prince. Good morning, my prince. Good morning. You me, my prince. This morning, I went to harvest cassava for my mother. It's only for a bad farmland. Yes, my king. I know this one was walking on my back when I told him he was the one standing on my back. He's like touching me. Uh -huh. I told him I wasn't interested. He should stop touching me. He said, Today, he has been wishing to have me all these years. And today, he will get what he wants, my prince. He said, he pushed me on his floor. I saw my butt. He saw my butt. Wait. In this land. My yes. Friend. My friend, please don't listen to this girl. I was only going to check my trap and she confronted me. Wait, wait, wait. No. My friend, she's lying. I went to inspect my traps and she called me to help her lift her firewood. When we are going and she said. Enough. And then what? And then you raped her. He raped yeah, me. He raped me. He raped me. It, it, it's okay. It's okay. I'm actually in it. Get into the car. I'm taking you to the palace. To my father. By the time I come back, we'll judge this case. Get in. I'm innocent, my friend. Let's have you with me. Let's have you with me. Let's go. Saying the truth after all. I told you. Okay, now listen. Remember the plan. Hmm? Okay. Nobody's supposed to see us together. So for now, I, I don't shouldn't be in the palace. Don't come to the palace to see me. All right? We'll be talking on the phone. But I thought we were going to spend the night together. Yeah, of course, of course. We'll spend the night together, but not in the palace. Oh. Okay. No, no not in the palace. Uh, well, I've arranged for a hotel. You know, I booked a room where we're, we're going to we'll go there, have some fun. So once we're done, I'll take you there, okay? But you're going to wait for me. I have a meeting with my father. We want to discuss our wedding. <laughs> yeah, so once we're done with the meeting, I'll come meet you in the hotel and we'll spend some good time together. Won't I be lonely before ah, you get to the hotel? No, 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 no. no. Are you there'll, sure? be, there'll be food and drinks there. So enjoy yourself, oh, okay? So romantic, ten of you. Well, nobody's supposed to know our plan. What did the girl didn't know was that all the drinks in the fridge were all poisoned. She died that same night. This is too much for one man. 
Where do I start from? What do I do? An abomination. My son. Stop the pledge. Or it will stop your reign. <laughs> This is the height of it all. I am doomed. Why me? Why my only son? The only son I have. If I spare him, the plague must continue. If I spare him not, I lose my throne at my death. Oh, my world is crumbling right in my very eyes. How was I so blind to see these things happening under my nose? How? Your Majesty! How come you didn't know that what you are holding in your hand is not the real stuff of power you inherited from your fathers? Your Majesty, what are you talking about? Immediately you left me. The thought of the evil of visiting me made me to find my way to a Julius Abbot. Everything is clear before me now. Your Majesty! of the gods is all over me. Mm. Mm. Huh. Mm. Mm. Your Majesty, I can feel it. I need your advice, white one. Your Majesty, do not compromise. Do not. Save your life. Save the throne. If the prince pays for his atrocities. You are not too old to have another wife. You are not too old to have another son. Posterity will reward you. Where exactly has my father gone to? And why was it necessary for him to go alone? The chief priest was here earlier today. <laughs> I sense danger. The hidden is about to come to light. Man will come, man will go, but gotcha will remain. Time will come, time will pass, but nothing is the same. It's all about time. Life is beautiful, I 
but we're rubbing off on stain. Life is a miracle, but well, we're taking it for granted. Some say religion, some say tradition. Whatever be your reason, remember, say we all got a reason to live our lives and see tomorrow with hopes and dreams like kings and queens. Life is a gift, no man can give another. So let us rethink, so no one should kill another. Whatever be the reason, oh no, I. Whatever be the reason, man will come, man will go, but God will remain. God will remain. Time will pass, but nothing is the same. Oh yeah. They say tradition is for man It is not man for tradition <coughs> My king I don't know where to start This is a case of an incense That perched on a young man's scrotum If you try killing it you injure the young man. If you leave it, it will continue biting the young man. But whatever the case may be, your name, we shall live centuries after you are gone, is more important than anything else. Your son has committed an abominable act. Let justice prevail. When you are gone, what you did will speak for you. Mm. Chair, you have spoken my mind. The executioners should be called forthwith. Whatever needs to be done should be done as soon as possible, without delay. Stop there. Your end has come. You get it. You heard him. Move. You heard him right. Move. Move. He has been buried alive. Good one. Now, the blood of the innocent has been avenged. Yes. We can all now live in peace. That's a love is meant to endure Through the trying times Will you wait for me? Cause I know I am yours to enjoy For eternity I will wait for you My young man A good man
tempest will rise The thunders will strike You were right after all The boy was innocent Nobody believed me Nobody believed me But at least the truth finally prevailed Superintendent there is no truth in superstition. Nobody saw any dead spirit. Nobody saw any ghost anywhere. All these are mere imaginations. The earlier we stopped believing them and believing on reality, believing on things we can feel, things we can touch and relate with, the better for us. I think I'm beginning to see things from your perspective. Thank <laughs> you. 